All right, y'all. Got my week six, well, technically week seven, through six weeks power rankings. I'm really excited. Please, we had a great show last night with Jones for Jones shots on Blitz and Janae. It was awesome. Uh, go check it out. Um, it was a blast, seriously. We did talk our top teams at the very end of the episode. I'll be doing this again with Bill and Jason on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, so please check it out. But here are my my top 10 teams. And this is this was actually getting hard like at the end like uh, yeah this was rough but I'm excited because you got the Chiefs and the Vikings coming off a bye they're both 5 and 0 oh. I gave them the top 2 spots the Chiefs Cream Hunt has really filled in well for Pacheco I think Smith Schuster I went and picked him up because I was like Mahomes has to throw the ball to somebody other than Kelsey and with Rice out unless they go out and get a receiver this is what they got. And Worthy, as good as he is, he's kind of a gadget player. So the way I'm seeing it is they're going to throw the ball to somebody and sprinkling some fantasy in because fantasy's on my mind right now. But Chiefs, um, they got to be the number one team. You win back-to-back Super Bowls. You've earned it. I said this last week. They hold at number one. The Vikings are undefeated, so they have earned the number two spot. I do not believe they're the second best team. I don't even believe they're the best team in the NFC North. I think the Lions, even with the Hutchinson injury, and maybe the Packers have higher ceilings than the Vikings. Maybe Donald Poos continues to prove me wrong. I like the weapons. I like the coaching. I like the DC, head coach and the DC. But I'm not entirely sold on this team. So we're going to watch and see on that. Got the Lions at three. So Chiefs, Vikings, another NFC North team. I am very concerned about the Hutchinson injury. He was the sack leader in the NFL. That's a huge loss, man. I think they're going to have to go do something um, in free agency or via trade to replace him because, and you're not going to replace him, but to replace some of that production because that's a huge loss for our defense that really relies on that front four and their linebackers are solid, but that front four is that meat of that defense. And, um, the secondary still has a lot of youth and is questionable. So they really rely on that pass rush. And that's a big one, man. It, you, you seven and a half sacks in less than six games. That's hard to replace. So, yeah, I don't know. They're going to have to replace that one. I, I'm concerned about that. That's a big blow for them. But they've, they've got weapons all over the place on offense. they got two running backs. they got now two legit receivers. Jameson Williams is having his breakout season that we've been waiting for. And they got, obviously, St. Brown and Laporta. I mean, Montgomery just got an extension. He's been so good. Gibbs is his backup. That's ridiculous. Goff is playing probably his best football. Um, yeah, they got to be number three. What's crazy is putting them at three means the Ravens had to be all the way down to four. And they look like they might actually be able to knock off this Chiefs team. My concern is that defense. And that's why I knocked them a peg. Because I don't know if they can... They can run the ball, so that'll help them hold leads. But uh, that defense lets teams back into games. And um, they still have a really high ceiling, though. I think they're a legit Super Bowl contender. So I really like this offense with Derrick Henry just alleviating the pressure from Lamar Jackson. They're legit. Seriously, they are. Homer pick. <laughs> they might not deserve it, but I put my Packers at five. I just did because I can. They signed a new kicker. Um, a lot of allegations against him um, from the Jaguars and Broncos. Maybe solves their kicking problems. He missed seven last year, but it's better than the, I believe it was 15 total, including extra points that um, Carlson missed last year, the rookie. They need to solve this problem long term. They need to go out and draft a, a kicker in the fourth. Just invest that pick one time. Get the right guy. Seriously. It's such an important position. I mean, the Cowboys even had the right kicker. Just saying. So that's my number five. Um, I like... My only concern is they rely so much on the big play and the takeaway. I don't know if that's like gonna have long term success, but that's where I've got the Packers. Um, yeah, I think they've earned it. They've been pretty good. I think they have a really high ceiling. I like the long term potential of this team. They've got weapons on offense. The passing tech looks legit. They've got a pretty good running game. Defense is certain to improve. So we'll see. I got the Texans, Texans at six. The Nico Collins injury is a little scary, but they've got depth and Mixon coming back really helps. I like this team, um, and they're about to get, and they play the Packers this week, so we're going to find out which one of those teams is better, and they're getting one of their guys back from suspension, Autry, so that's going to be an interesting game. That'll decide that five spot, maybe who can even move up further. I've got the Bucks at seven. I like the potential. They're four and two. They've had a couple of games I didn't like. 
Uh, but they did go out and beat the Lions, the only team to do so. So that's impressive. I, I like Baker. I like the D. I like that they've got Bucky Irving coming on with Rashad White now. They've still got weapons on offense. they got a rookie receiver, Brian Evans and Godwin. The defense is solid. Baker's playing legit. I like it. So got them at seven. I liked the Amari Cooper trade for the Bills, but I still have them at eight because they've got a lot of injuries on D, and now Cook is banged up. And I like them, but they've been inconsistent. So we're going to find out. They're at eight. The Commanders are at nine because they don't have a D, but that offense is legit, and they, they've they got some upside in the NFC. But with a rookie QB, I think the ceiling is limited. I think they can make the playoffs, but I don't know how far they can go with that defense, even though I like what Dan Quinn's doing there. And the 49ers don't really deserve to be all the way down at 10, but because of injuries, they are. So I've got them at 10. Who's your top 10? Please like and subscribe. I want to hit 650 as soon as possible. Thank you for all you guys' support. See you again on Friday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. And last night's live is already on YouTube. Thanks, guys.